Yeah, I was going to say we're going to need our passport soon. Yeah, we're going to be crossing the border. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, I am out here at Sierra Vista, Arizona with my son Scott up here in front. And we are going on Tar Canyon Road. He's not been up here. I've not deer. been up in here either. There's a deer. The guy that told me about this earlier today said watch it because you'll see deer, bear, and mountain lion. That's on this road. And that was, that was a little deer, wasn't it? Yeah. Right there, yeah, a little fawn. Or unless that's how big they get here. They may not get as big as the white tailed deer we have. So Scott here, he just got his and what year is yours? Is it twenty three or twenty four? Twenty three. Twenty three Honda C R F three hundred L. Mine's a old one now. What is mine? Twenty twenty? Original. Mine's the first one. But there's really no difference between his and mine. I mean Mine's better. I got these awesome stock handguards. They're That's awesome. true. He does have the awesome <laughs> stock handguards. <laughs> Don't expect them to protect you if you hit a tree very hard. <laughs> They're good against bears. Yeah. So as far as going up in here, we have no idea. I mean, we've never been up this road, so we're just kind of out exploring the area around uh, this part of Arizona, southern Arizona. And what better thing to do with than the dual sport? I would figure it's going to turn into gravel. I don't know. Assume somewhere. There's lots of uh, morning doves. Lots of cacti. So now which way do we go here? Probably right. Looks like it goes Say right. So. That's someone's gate. Yeah, we don't. We ain't gonna do that. Itchy boots thing and open their gate. This is a lot different uh, terrain and a lot different everything, different territory, different type of riding than what I'm used to doing in Missouri and Arkansas in the Ozarks. We're definitely not in the Ozarks anymore. There's a turkey right Look there. Look at that turkey. you got to be kidding me. And that's a big old dude, too. Big old Tom. There's yeah. a gravel. He had a big old long beard. Oh, yep. Here we go. This is where it turns into gravel. I figured it did. No fireworks. I don't. I don't doubt that. Entering National Forest land. Oh, that's cool. Tornado National Forest. Watch for floods and debris. And this thing here is, I guess, it's monsoon season. We don't have that in Missouri, but they have monsoon season here, and they just pop up rain anytime. You can see the clouds no up there. No deer up there too. And Holy here, cow. and there, there's another one. There's three of them. There's one up there. Where's the other ones? There's two right oh, here. Oh, right here. Holy cow, are they not even scared of you? They don't care. My gosh, in Missouri, you won't get that close. Them suckers will be gone. Our house information center. Oh, it's closed. Oh, I thought I was saying the road was closed. Seven, it's it's seven a little deer, there. too. And they're yeah, not even they're not moving. Here, I'm stopping right here beside them suckers. Yeah. I killed my bike. I forgot. I didn't have it in neutral. That's crazy. There's one right on the left, too. Did you see that one? Oh, I missed that one. I was looking over there. My goodness. Well, that guy was true yeah. about the deer. Now, if we see as many mountain lions that we do deer, we're in trouble. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. I shifted into neutral. I was saying I got a soft foot. So I have no idea what their vehicles over 20 feet long, trailers over 12 feet long, prohibited beyond this point. And take the 300L out here. Yeah, no kidding. Couldn't take my uh, trailer. Oh, Car Canyon picnic site. 
This is right here near Sierra Vista. What's that guy taking a picture of? Say, motor vehicles allowed only on designated roads shown on motor vehicle use map. Hmm. Well, we can probably tell it's motor vehicle use map or motor yeah. road by looking at it. In other words, not the hike trails. You having a problem there? It just seems to not want to shift in the first. We may have to check your uh, clutch yeah. play, free play. If you got too much free play, it may not be pulling all the way in. Yeah, I think it's got a little too much slack. Yeah, you want it about... Feel, it, it feels like it's jiggling. It should be about a nickel's width up there where the gap is. When it, from closed to open, it should be about a nickel's width. Of course, you can't see it because it's covered by a little rubber flap. He's not wore that thing out yet. How many miles he got on it? 144. 144 miles. Well, like I said, I spent most of my time growing up on a four wheeler, not a dirt bike. Yeah, that's true. I'm still. I feel like a beginner again. Yeah. Because I didn't ride for 13 years. Yeah, when I, went, like, when I went in the military, we got rid of my bike, and I haven't ridden since then. That'd be like starting all over again. Yep. This, this is what it feels like. This is awesome. Look, and check out them rocks up there. The cliffs. I mean, every dude's are tall. It's crazy. This is right next, to the, <laughs> right next to the desert. No kidding. Awesome. Got all kinds of little pull-in spots here. Them was like campsites. Looks like a trail down in the creek. Yeah. I'm assuming you're not supposed to go on those because that sign or something. Yeah, and there's a rocks across it right there, so I'd say not. Yeah. We should be able to make it if that Dodge truck made it. Yeah. He said you could drive a car up here. I mean, it don't seem that bad so far. No. I haven't seen anything that's a challenge yet. Dust control I, zone. Got up in the air on that rock. Do not enter when flooded. It might be flooded if we got unlucky. It's kind of like turn around, don't drown. Well, it hope, might be closed. I hope not. It is. Or that is. Now, hold on. There's more road. Oh, good. I was about to say. <laughs> like, man, are we back in Missouri again? It's a car house. I think that, that's, info so that, yeah, this is the info center that's closed right now. We probably just came too late today. You probably go there and get brochures and stuff. That's probably where you get that map for I, knowing what roads are I wouldn't okay to drive on. Because there's like a camp host or something living there. Yeah. This is like perfect dual sport roads. Yeah. Narrow, Narrow steep road. <laughs> 10 mile an hour. Eden. That's just a suggestion. One lane road with turnouts. Definitely got the signage up through here. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. They don't mess around. Ramsey Vista. Dead end five miles. I'm just waiting for someone who's comfortable with these roads to come flying around the corner. He said stay on your side around the corner because some people come flying through there in side-by-sides or even vehicles. And, yeah, that's what I was saying. And they ain't got a clue, so he said stay on your side of the road. <coughs> Goodness. That the Arizona dust is getting to me. Well, at least it's a dry dust. I'm not the Arizona <laughs> desert dog. Do 
Yeah, it's a dry dust. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> want that wet dust in my throat. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, we're already getting pretty high up here too. Yeah, I don't know what the elevation is. I can't. Uh, five thousand. I don't have mine on elevation. Five thousand six hundred feet, I think, is what it says. There's a little stopping point on the way back. Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, look out. Little That'd look be a out. perfect little spot to stop on the way back. Yeah. So this is my first actual video in Arizona, other than the one we made coming out here, the video right before this one, when we was on our way out. Whoa, watch out for the coyote. Yeah, and first one with me. I think what ended the first ever video I've ever been in. Oh yeah, it is actually. Yeah, because I back when you was uh, riding, I didn't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, that's true. You could have gotten a ton of good video back then. My God. Yeah, now if you guys watch a lot of my older videos, you'll see Kevin, my other son, in the videos, and Kevin when I rode with Kevin and Blake, but uh, Kevin lives out here too and he actually has a 300L order which should be in for in just a few days really not very long around a week well you hope <laughs> yeah that's what they said with mine yeah <laughs> you know how that goes it was like two and a half weeks later yeah still ain't as bad as it could have been said it was invoiced did, did was it two or three weeks later after it was invoiced uh, yeah, after they finally said it was invoiced, they said it was supposed to be a week, and it was like two weeks. Oh, okay. Holy cow, you can see the world from up here. That's crazy. You can see all the rain happening over there. That is awesome. Hopefully there ain't too much dust on my camera lens. I wonder what that road is down there. Maybe that's where this ends up going. <laughs> but now that looks like a highway. <laughs> oh, it might end up coming out down there. I It said dead end, but I don't know if it's talking about this same road. I think this is a dead end. I think it goes up to a lookout point. Because I think I looked this up on a map uh, before. Well, if it is, we have to find some more roads. One of these days we'll get out and we're going to explore a lot of this country and find everything we can. Well, there's a ton of stuff to ride. To show you guys. We have the three 300Ls. Wow, there's going to be a lookout over there. Let's pull in there and look. See that road? Down there? I'll get up too close. I can't see it probably. You can see it over here. Uh, not really. There's a tree in the way. But look at the rain. Big time rain over there. Look at that over there to the left. And then That's there's what I was looking some at. here, some there, 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 there. <laughs> there's another road down there. That may be the one we come in on. I don't know. Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. There's that blimp. Yep. Man, it is coming down over there. Yeah, over there, over there it's dumping it. There's some more rain over the right, too, over that way. Oh, you gotta watch not step in these holes. I've stepped in a hole or two. Yeah, you watch it when you stop. Make sure you're not stopping where there's a hole, because you'll go yeah. over. I've done that before myself. Check out them. There's a, little hiking, there. there's a hiking trail right there. You can come up here and park and hike that trail. That's sweet. This is close enough that women could ride on the 300 L's with us right up here. Does that sign say anything? I don't know. 
gate's, Dude, gate's, up, gate's, gate's open. open, so I'm too busy flapping my jaws. Yeah, same. But you know, the women could ride with us up here easy enough. This ain't too rough. That was the corner that someone would be flying around on. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody went around it right there, and there Taking was hair, hairpin turn. Yeah, and there was like a dirt bike track or something. And you got to watch; it was kind of looser on the side. It was like sandy. Yeah, it's got that loose top that I was talking about. Yeah, where you don't expect it to be a little bit sandy on top, but it is. Yeah, you want to watch these right turns, say to the right. That's the ones you stay to the right because somebody will be coming around on our side. Them darn cars just ain't they on the road. <laughs> A lot of rocks in the road. <laughs> it's nice. So I say it's perfect dual sport road. Paid for it. It probably just gets smaller and smaller the further you go up. Usually, I would, kind of I, I would assume so. Yeah. You, know, you can tell it's getting rougher as we go up too. Yeah. It's the way it was in Colorado. I don't know if this is that way, but. The way they would do is, as you could tell, people would be like, oh, this is getting too much, so we, they'd turn around. So it was less traveled the further you go because you could tell where people had been turning around. Like, that's enough. Yeah, like all them Jeeps. Yeah, all them gladiators and Jeep Wranglers and junk like that. They see a gravel road and they turn around? Yeah. Is this a Hawaiian road or? Oh, I guess it's a right turn. Jeez Louise. Sweet. Scott, just don't fall over on the video. That's what I want to do. It's embarrassing. It's how we get views. Well, yeah, it makes a difference. I'll put <laughs> that as a screenshot. The thumbnail, I mean. I'll embarrass myself so you can get famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny, I'll say that, and then I'll actually, I'll actually fall over. I hope you don't. <laughs> I could fall over myself. It's, I'm not perfect. I mean, any little thing, you know, you could not pay attention for half a second. And it can happen. Like when you're trying to tell people, how, like, watch how to do his U-turn. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, that is a stupid... The view just gets better the further you go. I know, it's crazy. Just don't look off to the right too too long. <laughs> yeah, because you, on motorcycles, same way with the car, I guess. But where you look, that's where you will go. If you look there long enough. That's why there's something in the road. Don't look at it, because you'll hit it. Yeah. I'm trying to look where I want to go. Yeah. It's like, it's right there in the road. I want to look to the right, because I want to go there or to the right of it or the left of it. Holy mackerel, look at them rocks up there. But look at the road, too. Yeah. <laughs> look at that green on there. Oh, yeah. I wonder what that is. Is that like copper? I don't know. Maybe not. Somebody uh, that knows what that is out here in Arizona, comment it down below what that green is on those rocks. It could be some kind of moss. If it was in the Ozarks, that's what it would be. It would be moss. <laughs> but I wouldn't think moss would grow much here in Arizona. On a it, moisture. It's so dry. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, don't run off the edge. <laughs> yeah, I was posted in second, but it kept, I kept having to slow down a little bit to make sure I wasn't going to go off the side. I can tell you my ears are popping. 
What's the elevation? Look at this, there's now? a wall up here. Can't see the elevation. It's hard to do it. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Six thousand. I can't see. Well, I can tell you the elevation now is higher than it was earlier. Four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's a hell of a drop down there. This is probably a lookout up here. In other words, you go, look out! <laughs> Sweet mama. And they got these pullovers because these tight corners, you got to let somebody pass. Yeah. What is that over there? A mine? Almost looks like the little entrails of a mine. Oh, there's a trail here. Dangerous area. Keep out. I bet you it was a mine. We can go see real quick right here. We're not going to go past the keep out sign. Did you take your key and say, in case someone decides to run up here? <laughs> No, I just have to throw a rock, I guess. Yep. Did you take your key? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this would be where the mountain lion would be it's coming out of the bushes just, here. Yeah, I was going to say, you got to be careful. Moving Very too close to the sheer is, drop behind this is... sign or sliding down the slick stream and falling over the falls. So this is where the water falls is, evidently. Yep. Of course, there's no water right now, but... Oh, that's a sheer cliff is all that is, too. It's kind of like one of those. We're just on the edge of it. There's the road down there, Scott. You see that? Come here. I'm coming. Yeah, you can see there is a little bit of water in there. Right there, over there. So I'd say the water falls right down through here and right down that. That's the road we come in on. Because there's a, some of those campground stuff down there. Oh, yeah. We probably came down. Have we come down that road or over this way, one of those roads down to it? Right over there, that big corner is where we saw the deer. Yeah. Right, right before where that car's parked in that parking lot. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, there's a blimp parked out over there. Yeah. So they let that up higher, don't they? Oh, oh yeah, I hope. Way higher. <laughs> I can't tell how high that is. <laughs> Not that high. To watch the border. How far do you think the border is from here? Only a few miles. I'd assume less than 10. Well, hopefully my bike's still there. If they took it, they pushed it because I never heard it start. Yeah, someone come running out of a cave. A caveman. Jeez, I'm fat and old. My dual sports. Look at the difference in my headlight and his. That old ugly American stuff. Get a drink of water. I'm going to need a drink. I ain't even cold. I need one too. Give me the ice here. <laughs> okay, we can get back started. Definitely the trees are different. <laughs> I mean, you got pines here, but it's not like oak trees everywhere. I already got dust sweat lines. <laughs> Don't doubt <laughs> that. <laughs> Look at that. It's crusty as hell already. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in front. No. I'm the one catching the dust. I'm going to be in front on the way down, buddy. Yeah. Hey, I'll pull this up since we're not going very fast. Oh, my keys. See them. That's See? Never... Go ahead. Always get when you're trying to get your keys out and you're already on the bike. <laughs> oh, you got the gloves on. 
See yeah. them amazing hand guards they put on the 300 L's now? Yeah, they're sick. Oh, man, they are. They're sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's hang on. Let's check that clutch free play. Real quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at that. It looks like a bunch. Yeah. I mean, some people do them different than I do, probably, but I do mine a nickel. A nickel's width in this gap right in there. That's a heck of a big nickel. That's what I said. Gee just... whiz. <laughs> I think I got about six minutes. Oh, I ain't got my pliers. It'll be, It'll be fine, fine for now. now. Yeah, we'll just do it when we get back, but yeah. I may have actually some in there somewhere, but. Well, I got some in my tool bag, but it's not a big deal for right now. But yeah, you're definitely, that's the problem right there. Well, this was actually better than I expected it to be. Uh, me too. When the guy I said, did, "I did it, not know. expect it." I also, I just, I didn't expect it to be this much road. No, I mean, I. It looks a lot better than I expected. And... No bears or mountain lions yet. Bunch of deer though. If we dang sure seen the deer. And a I did not expect to see a turkey right out there. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if you even had turkey around here. Well, I thought we'd be the only turkeys out here. Yeah, <laughs> two turkeys right here. <laughs> I mean, uh, back home, there's a lot of turkey, but around there, we're right where we lived, there was not very many. I think the poachers kill everything, but. Well, yeah, uh, and even uh, then you don't see them a lot. I hardly ever see them. Even on the game cams I had set up, just hardly ever see turkeys. Yeah. Jive turkeys when you go to town. They're wild turkeys. Wild turkeys. In the chicken coop. Yeah. That's a pretty sweet road. Definitely one, if you're near Sierra Vista, you want to try out the Car Canyon Trail. How about some good views on a really short ride? Do what? Had some good views on a really short ride. It's Do not you? that far up here at all. Yeah. I mean, God dang, that's a drop. <laughs> yeah. Holy, <laughs> Holy crap. I'll have to that show that on the way down. That is straight down. Holy, yeah. I'll show that on the way down. Pull over there. I ain't going to get too close, but. Get too close to that, you won't be able to pin a, a safety pin up there. <laughs> he is. The hills are not that high in the Ozarks. I'm not even close. I mean, the highest place around right there by my house is 1,400 feet. This is a little bit taller. Yeah, about 5,000 feet taller so far. I think I'm earning achievements on my Apple Watch. <laughs> it thinks you're doing a workout. Yeah. But if you're not in shape, you are doing a workout. Well, compared to what I usually do, they're like, you burn more calories today than the rest of the year. That's a new <laughs> achievement. <laughs> keep saying U-turn, but I don't see a U-turn. <laughs> Sharp turns. That's the ones he's talking about you want to watch. Yeah. But it's better being on a bike than in a vehicle. That's what they got them little pullovers for. If you're on a vehicle, you're going to have to, somebody's going to have to get over. Yeah. Oh, here's one. Jeep.
Like, I hope you give him enough room there, Scott. My God's trying I, to crowd him. He's got room. He's in a Jeep. He should have room. He can go up on that hill. Well, yeah, he could. <laughs> put, it up on two, put it up on two wheels. That ain't a problem. I'm surprised someone was still up here. Be cool up here tonight. Come up here and look and see like, the lights. Yeah. Now, is that Sierra Vista down there or no? Uh, or is that Hereford? Yeah. Well, it's Hereford and then just north of Sierra Vista. Be cool just to see what the lights look like from being up here at nighttime. Yeah. Heck, this might be a place to bring the telescope. Oh, no doubt. Hey, it's right here, close to yeah. Sierra Vista. We drive the Jeep up here with the telescope. No doubt. Not the Honda? <laughs> I wouldn't want the Honda up here. Well, I, I'm I don't talking know about I... a Honda Civic, ain't it? Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, you don't want the Honda Civic up here. I thought you meant the 300. I was like, I might be able to put Angie on here, but she'd have to put the <laughs> she had to put the telescope on her back like a backpack. No, I was talking about not the Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't want the Honda Civic up here. Holy cow, look at them rocks. That is stupid cool. Of course, it's so amazing to me because, you know, I'm, well, you was born and raised, I mean, your whole childhood up until you was out on your own in Missouri, in the Ozarks. Yep. And then I'm, you know, I've been in the Ozarks, I've lived in Missouri all my life, and I'm 55, so I've never lived out of the Ozarks. So to me, it's a drastic change. Holy cow. You see the rain over there to the left. It Holy is, cow. It's flat. I hope it don't come over here. I bet we're going to get into it by the time we get home. How much you want to bet? <laughs> I'll bet I lose, I guarantee you. I wouldn't take that bet in monsoon season. Yeah, I'm not a betting man. That's the way everybody talks. Even that guy that told me about this was talking about the monsoon season. Don't mess around. Like mom soon. I'm not used to that. What in the world you know is mom soon? <laughs> not just rain shower. Well, it's gonna rain monsoon or mon later, either one. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, we just keep, we're going all the way to the top, evidently. I, I'm I can't believe how <laughs> she just keeps going. We think uh, even if it did dead end, to... even if it dead end at five miles. You think five miles, five miles up this is quite a ways. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to need our passport soon. Yeah, we're going to be crossing the border. Be cool if you could see the border wall from up there. We might uh, be able to from the lookout point if there is one up here. I think there, I thought there was one up here. We got a branch off here. This, yeah. this looks like the main road. That's something else. I bet Look. that's a campsite. Campsite, yeah. Sweet. I bring the gladiator up here in the tent and go camping up here. Yeah, I wonder if it's uh, dispersed camping. I'd assume so. Oh, yeah. It is dispersed. has to be. It didn't say anything about it. I guarantee... I'm going uh, to find I out. I'll say I guarantee you go to that visitor center and ask them. Right. Dang. You're doing great. Getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> You're leading, so you're picking the line. Of course, it doesn't mean yeah. I'm gonna follow your line. If you hey, if you fall over, I won't follow your line. I can I can tell where I need improvement. I can I'm noticing whenever I'm messing things up slightly, where I should have picked another spot, where I should have leaned differently. Right. Like I can I can feel it. There's a lookout up here. Oh yeah, heck of a lookout! Holy crap, what a drop! Don't fall. Or as Biden says, don't jump. What an idiot. Holy crap. Ooh, mercy. That's, see, that's, we was down below that looking up there at that earlier. Yeah, we were just right down there. Wow. This is awesome. Let me see. Oh, my stupid thing's in the way. I think it says 6984. So our elevation, 7,000, 7,000, 6,900 and some is what I saw. 
scare way up here. Yeah, 69.90 something. <laughs> Heard yeah. about 7,000 feet. And we started, uh, service was what, like 40, 44, 45? 44 something, yeah. So we went way up. Head out. Uh oh. Oh, go ahead. So you know those Hondas. Ain't no junker get up here to altitude when they'll start. Yeah. You know those Hondas, man, they won't start. That's the cool thing about fuel, fuel injection. Now, them old, <laughs> the old carbureted ones, you have to rejet and everything. Just, you have to stop and <laughs> give it more fuel. Oh, mm -hmm. we're going back down. Uh oh. What's this? Information panel? Yep. Bear See. Country. Oh, it is. It is a bear country. It wasn't joking. There's a trail right there. Information. Coronado National Forest. Welcome to your national forest. I like it when they say welcome. Don't antagonize the bears. Well, you don't have that's to worry good. about that. We're going to get the heck out. I mean, that's good advice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I guess maybe this road just goes down into the canyon. I don't know if it goes back down or if we're just going down a little bit and then back up or something. We'll see. I see the roadway up there ahead of us. Not up on the hill, but just up there a little ahead of us. I, I can see it through the trees. Goes across the border. Oh, there's people camping down there. Oh, there is? Yep. Oh, yeah. I see it. Sure enough. Sweet. Well, the bears may have got them. Maybe the bears are camping. <laughs> Heck, you guys want to go camping? Here you go. Yeah. I mean, really, this is crazy how no, good I mean, this I'm is. I was serious. I yeah. mean, I joke, but I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> you never can tell if he's jive talking or not. <laughs> I wonder where I get it. I don't know. From your mom. Probably. <laughs> Look at all this campground. Holy Look at cow. all that. This is awesome. Fire rings, camp tables. Sawmill trailhead, reef town side campground. Sweet. group site. Locked off. Well, yep. They may give you the key if you rent it or something. Well, it's crazy that the road up here is more just like a normal dirt road. Like, people live up here. Yeah. It's smooth up here. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is, this is just like normal kind of gravel road you'd expect. For now, anyway. Yeah, well, that's because we're, that's cause we're it, not climbing. Yeah, let's say it ain't gonna last long. You go to climb and it gets kicked out. That's what happens. Chewed up. Look at all the rock out there. Same way as that other, but it goes all the way up that mountain. With the green yeah. all over the rocks. Hopefully somebody chimes in here on the comments below and mentions what that is. Oh, okay. I thought you were... <laughs> What? I thought you were going to say, I hope someone chimes in on uh, Mess Channel 1. And <laughs> oh, well, they might for somebody close enough. So, hey, who is that? <laughs> Who's on here talking? Evening. They might be the ones camping right back I there. I wouldn't doubt it. Smell the pines. This reminds me of Colorado. I mean, up, you're up in the pines and the mountains like this and the twisty roads and that's something that it, I always say, you know, to people when they they talk to me about, like, what it's like in Arizona. I'm like, you'd be surprised, man. Like, everybody thinks it's just desert, but yeah. there's a lot of environment types in Arizona. I mean, if you, like, we've talked about in places over near Flagstaff or up near the Grand Canyon. I yeah. mean, 
you're in the you're in the snow going skiing. You go down the hill and you're in the desert. I mean. Yeah, I mean that's what I always thought too. You think, what do you think when you think Arizona? You think desert. You know, that's hot and dry desert. There ain't nothing yeah. there. Saguaro cactuses and, and empty open land. <laughs> yeah. But there's you, a ton of mountains and a lot of this. And then you see something like this. It's like. I've never had the dual sport in anything like this before. In any mountains. Even and, when and I went to Colorado. Right over the hill. Yeah, even when I went to Colorado, that was, you know, in the gladiator. Wasn't on dual sport. Man, I think this I don't know if this is ever gonna end. We're gonna <laughs> we'll have to call uh, <laughs> we'll have to call <laughs> Mom and Angie, let them know we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna get there. We're just gonna go ahead and camp out while we're here. I mean, I expected there to be something like this back here, but not to this extent. No, I didn't either. I mean, especially these big, tall pines and mountains. I mean, I mean, it's a pine forest up here. Well, and I'm so glad I got this bike because it wouldn't be the same coming up here without oh, no. it. I mean, I, I, this is the best decision I've made since uh, I got married. I guess I should probably say that right <laughs> on, the, on the video. <laughs> you want that on? Yeah, show Angie this video. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna say the best of a fish I've made in the last ten years. I was like, whoa, wait, wait a minute. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> oh man. I'm telling you though, I've been like I've been saying, I just need more seat time, and I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to spend it out here with you because we can go a lot further and do. A lot more exactly than yeah. just riding on the paved roads closer to town because like i said i i'm the kind of person i'd rather be safe than sorry i don't want to go out here on my own and something happen and that was even the problem for me you know back in the ozarks because i was pretty much by yeah. myself and when it came to off road a couple people i'd ride with but you know it was just riding by yourself I, to me it ain't even fun well, it's not the same. I mean, shared experiences are always better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you got the, the danger factor of being by yourself. You get hurt, and then you're kind of in trouble. But that was part of it. The yeah, it's part mostly was, about the shared experience. Yeah, the other part of it was it's just a lot more fun like this. Riding up here by yourself, you can't talk to like you're talking to me now. I mean, well, me, even, just, even just being here and sharing it with somebody, right. let alone being able to talk with them. Right. It's just the incentives do make things a lot better. Yeah, well, it's hard to make memories on your own. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sinas do help. Yeah, the Sinas, because otherwise, you know, the problem with riding without the Sinas is we can't talk like this, and then we have to ride somewhere, pull over and talk, say, did you see this or did you see that? Or Instead of being able to just ride, and you can say, look over there, you know, keep right. Yeah, uh, these Sinas are the best things that ever happened. This I'm telling be you, the I end would, of it. If, yeah, I mean, if we had these things back when we rode foilers, it would have changed the game. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Because, I mean, we had, the, like, the, you know, the little radio things, and they were okay, but this is amazing. This is a Ramsey Vista campground. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They got bathrooms this is, up here. This is, a, this is a fee area. That's why. Yeah. You got to pay a fee to camp. Well, that's still pretty cool. Yeah. You got bathrooms. I mean, that's cool. Good, nice well, camp for spots. For fifteen dollars, it better be twice as good as that uh, the one up in uh, <laughs> that we saw up in uh, Lemon. Yeah, it's a lot that easier. Was Eight dollars, ten dollars for a week. True. What is going on here? We're gonna get lost. I don't know. Comfort Spring Trail. Hey, you went across a super deep ditch and didn't crash. <laughs> Campsite three, that's a nice spot. Oh, yeah, it, it comes with experience. Four. They got bear proof trash cans out here. I think, is this a dead end? Yeah, it's just, I think this is the end of it. Hold on, let's go down here and see if this other one goes somewhere. Was it one way for, was it one way as in like you could only loop back? Yeah, I imagine there's a loop to the right, probably more campsites right through there. I'm just wondering what this is right here. This might just be the exit to these other ones. 
Oh yeah, see that's an exit. Because this has one way. What does? This, because it looks like you're supposed to come out. I bet that just loops around. Let's go look. Hey, there's water up here. Can you dig it? Look at that. In Arizona, people. That's the biggest lake around. Yeah, it's just more campsites right here. Oh, yeah, it just loops around. Several campsites. They probably never get full up here. <laughs> but, yeah, I doubt it. So one way we need to go this way. <laughs> Too cool. Well, if we found the end of it, it comes down to a campsite. That's awesome. What's this Sweet. Comfort Spring Trail? Is that a hiking trail? A, oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Two and a two and a quarter mile. Says. That wouldn't be bad. Okay, guys, that was it for Car Canyon. Pretty cool coming up here. I've never been up here. My son Scott here in front of me, he's never been up here. and So, super cool for dual sport and camping. But uh, we're going to head back down now and we're going to find some other trails later in another video. Find some other roads. But this is one that's close to Sierra Vista. So, and I'm highly impressed with it, really. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, for lots more 300L dual sport videos. Like I said, my other son's going to have one, so we'll have three 300Ls riding. Uh, subscribe down that's below, click the thumbs up. L's. 900Ls, that's right. I'm sorry, I That's exactly wrong. right. My son, Scott, here, he told me when I bought the gold wing, he's like, do you realize you could buy five or six 300Ls for the price of that gold wing? <laughs> that is true. Yep. And I can't go up here on a gold wing. Well, I could make it up here. It ain't that bad. I wouldn't want to, but I could. But anyway, guys, click the bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I get a new video. So automatically notify you. If you're not a subscriber to YouTube, subscribe so you can comment, click the thumbs up, and do the notifications. Appreciate y'all watching. Right on.